Are you wondering how we made this tiki bowling pin? Well, we're gonna show you how to do it right now. Hi everybody, I'm Ruby, and welcome to my channel, Rubylicious, where I show you how to do DIYs, mom hacks, and lifestyle videos. But today, I have a special guest, Ms. Kelly. She's my great friend. She asked us to do a special project. So I was asked to do a game for a school event in Luau, so we decided to do tiki bowling, but we didn't have any pins, so I bought some Shasta Cola, everyone's favorite, at the dollar store, dumped it out, no. dumped soda down the drain, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, painted the inside, just poured some uh, brown craft paint and have my kids shake them up, and then I came over here so that Ruby can help me with the cricket part. All right, so now we're gonna show you how we made the face on the actual bowling pin with the Cricut. Okay, so I'm at Cricut Design Space. Go ahead and click on Images on your new project. Type in Tiki, and I went ahead and picked the one um, second to the left. Go ahead and add this image to your project. I wanted to make this black so I could define it between the other prints that I was going to do. Unlock it in the bottom left. Go ahead and go to the dimensions. Kelly wanted the width to be 5 and the height to be 7. So this allows it to adjust automatically. Okay, so that looks good. went ahead and duplicated it, placed it on the other side. Alright, that looks pretty even. Next, she said she wanted flames in the mouth, or flames on, and I like the one second to the left. Click it, add to images. I went ahead and drag it down towards the mouth. And I decided that 3x3 three three was too big. It was overlapping all the way up to the nose. So go ahead and adjust the dimensions after you unlock the image to 2.75 on length and width. Okay, and I went ahead and duplicated this image so that I could click and drag it to the other side. Okay, so the little flame that I decided would be dimensions 2 by 2 so you can see the yellow peeking through the back. She wanted two tone flames, yellow for the background and red for the little vinyl that would be stuck on top of that. You can click the colors on the top of your design space so you can figure out which design is what color. Go ahead and I went and uh, du duplicated the image. Click and drag it to the other side. If you look at the scroll bar on the right side, there's an eyeball on the right side of the panel. This is so that it could be visible or invisible when you print. So I let Kelly do all the weeding because I get frustrated when I do it and she feels like it's very therapeutic.
there was a lot of intricate pieces in this tiki face and Kelly was getting really frustrated when she was scoring the back and the front. Pieces were still being left on the actual Cricut backy. So as you can see, she's going back and forth and back and forth. It also depends on what kind of vinyl you use. So she bought the permanent vinyl, which was extremely sticky. And I noticed that the regular vinyl that I've used in the past was more easier to work with. about having to draw this face but this looks so much nicer kind of scary but not too scary we've got the fire and they'll be sturdy so we can knock them down with a coconut bowling ball all right friends hit the like button and subscribe until next time bye, bye. just use a funnel and add one or two cups of rice beans or even rocks whoop, whoop.